season football is better than no football. Am I right? I'm Sammy Joe Francis with this week's Charlotte Insider. I'm hanging out at Bank of America Stadium where the 2013 preseason starts this Friday when the Panthers take on the Bears. But first, restaurants fighting back against customers that dine and then dash. It's an old prank that has gotten very serious for some uptown Charlotte restaurants. But now those restaurants are taking charge by taking your card before you make your order. The wait staff loves it, no more having to pay for stolen meals. Like I'm working for you to drink and eat for free. Awesome. Mortimer staff at the epicenter say most customers get it and give up their cards. Some say it's not fair. Late night comedians having a field day with North Carolina lawmakers. Last week it was Stephen Colbert. This week, The Daily Show. After a North Carolina legislative session like this, I think the big takeaway here might be you'll move South Carolina. <laughs> oh, you thought you had craziest Carolina all sewn up, didn't you? With your runaway governors. You may be about to lose the war of northern regression. The controversial abortion and voter ID bills have been the focus of protests across the state. JetBlue, the coach-only airline that flies out of Charlotte, is now offering a first-class section, with seats that recline completely. Some will even have a wall that would create your own suite. The new first-class seats will be available on cross-country flights. I'm hanging out at Bank of America Stadium, where the Carolina Panthers host the Chicago Bears this Friday. They've got some new security measures in place to keep you safe. Trust me, you need to know these. Because the rules have changed, no more big handbags or purses or camera bags or diaper bags. Anything big like that must be clear plastic, like a Ziploc, no bigger than a gallon, 12 inches by 6 inches by 12 inches. The new system got its first test last weekend in Canton, Ohio. The NFL says most fans were aware of the changes, and now you are too. By the way, you may have seen Jackass star Johnny Knoxville hanging out in Charlotte the past several months. If you go to Connolly's or the Epicenter, you definitely saw him. Now we know why he was in town. I'm taking you to your dad so he can look after you. Come on, let's have some fun. You're gonna fix that penguin, bro. Nope. Knoxville shot the movie Bad Grandpa here in Charlotte. The movie involves Knoxville, in character, taking his grandson on a cross-country trip. Thing is, only he and the boy are in on the joke. Bad Grandpa opens in a theater near you October 25th. The weekend's almost here. Let's check out what's going on in your city. You know him from the show Whitney. Comedian Chris D'Elia is at the Comedy Zone all weekend. Friday, football returns to the Queen City. You can hit pre- and post-game parties at the Doghouse and at All-American Pub. All-American is the new home of Cans Recycle. Saturday, the Summer Love Music and Art Festival at Area 15 in Noda. Two stages of live entertainment, fashion shows, food, beer, tents, and games. Also Saturday, DJ Andy Moore will be performing live at Phoenix. Sunday, the Under the Sun Tour invades the Uptown Amphitheater. Smash Mouth, Sugar Ray, Gin Blossoms, Vertical Horizon, and Fastball. And Tuesday, Jimmy Eat World at the Fillmore. Charlotte Fashion Week quickly approaching, and to get us ready, another Fashion Forward Thursday tonight at Oso. Rita Miles stopped by to tell us a little more about it. Charlotte Scene is bringing you a avant-garde, wonderful exposure of hair, a hair show. It's brought to you by Paul Mitchell, and uh, they actually the influence and the inspiration is from Paris. As for this weekend, a big storm system is just hanging over the southeast. Shocker. It's going to bring us some rain. Be ready for that. Well, our tailgate is over. We'll see you Friday at the game. Join us every Thursday on WBTV.com. Follow us on Twitter at CLT Insider. Keep up with us, and we'll keep you up with Charlotte. I'm Sam and Joe Francis. Have a great weekend.